So hey guys, today I'll be showing you guys how to install Ubuntu on an external SSD hard drive or USB drive. Let's get into it. First thing you're gonna need is the actual SSD or hard drive, and you're gonna be needing a at least a gigabyte USB drive or another hard drive or SSD. You're gonna be, we're gonna be loading the installer onto it, and from this, we're gonna be installing it on our external SSD or hard drive or USB. So first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna go onto the Ubuntu website and you're gonna download the latest version of Ubuntu. I'll have it linked in the description for you guys. It's 5.8 gigabytes, so be patient and it will probably take up to an hour or more, depending on your internet connection and your computer's hardware. Next, you're gonna either wanna get Rufus or Belina Etcher. I prefer Belina Etcher as it's kind of easier for me to use. So now what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab your USB drive of at least eight gigabytes and then you're gonna go and plug it into your computer. I just connected my USB drive and I'm gonna click flash from file. You're gonna go to your downloads or wherever you saved the ISO you downloaded. I'm gonna click on my Ubuntu desktop ISO. I'm gonna click select target. Then I'm gonna find my USB drive. It's this PNY 16 gig. USB, 15.6 gigs. Then you're gonna click flash. Then it's gonna start flashing. You're gonna click yes. As it's gonna be using the command prompt to write and flash all the files in onto the USB stick. Just so you know, this might take a long time as well, as it depends on your uh, USB drive's speed and all that. So after it completes, you're going to see it's going to say flash completed and then you can just close out of Belina Etcher and next thing you're going to need is you're going to need your USB or hard drive or SSD or a flash drive and you're going to want to go to your PC and you're going to want to go and plug it in then you're going to go to you're going to go to disk management you're gonna you're gonna go to find your disk and you're gonna want to format it you can just format the disk right now so then it would be empty and you know and you rename it to like something that you know is not going to be your main drive i'm going to rename it to ubuntu portable you can rename it to whatever you want i'm gonna format it and i'm gonna format it as NTFS, just wait for it to f format, it's going to change the name, then you're going to close out of it. So now what you're going to want to do, you want to shut down or restart your PC, I'm going to shut down, and then I'm going to plug in my SSD, and I'm going to be plugging in my USB drive together, and then I'm going to wait for my PC to shut off. Next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to find your boot selection keys. For me, it's either F8 or F12. So I'm going to click the power button and start the computer up. And then I'm going to spam F8 and F12 at the same time. And I'm going to spam them until I get to the boot selection. This can take some time. There you go. I can choose either line. Um, this is... Uh, Linux and then this it used to be my Windows SSD from the last video but the EFI partition is still saved so it thinks there's still an operating system on it. I'm gonna click my USB drive and then it's gonna say error file not found and then it's gonna try or install Ubuntu. You're gonna want to click enter and then it's gonna start booting into Ubuntu. There you go it's booting into Ubuntu it has like that kind of spinning thing looks different from any other operating system so you'll know and it's gonna say Ubuntu so you're just gonna let it load if your USB drive is slow then it might take some time maybe a minute or two or even more than that but just be patient with it let it do its thing so it just booted into Ubuntu your it may take some time depending on your hardware until it opens this installer 
So it might just look like only the wallpaper is going to show up, but then it's going to open this app. And you're going to select English, and you're going to click Next, or your preferred language. You just click Next. You don't need any of these unless you have some kind of disability. And you can also click Next, depending. You can choose your language that you have on your keyboard. I'm going to click on Connect to a Wi-Fi network. I'll click on my network. I'm going to connect. It's going to connect to the network. And then you can click next. Then you can uh, do either try Ubuntu. You can run Ubuntu off of the little USB drive we just used, but we will want we want to install it on our big SSD. So we we will click install Ubuntu. I'm going to click next. I'm gonna do interactive installation. I'm gonna do I'm gonna do extended. Next, install, install. I'm gonna let it install third-party software for graphics and Wi-Fi, and it's gonna install support for additional media formats like MP3, MP4, MOV, HE, VC, H.264 and that kind of stuff. So. So now it's going to ask you if, where do you want to install Ubuntu. We're going to click erase and install Ubuntu and I'm not going to use any encryption or anything like that. And then I'm going to click next. Then I'm going to select my 512 gigabyte SSD that I have over here. For you it will look different. I have a nine terab I have a terabyte SSD inside, 256 gig SSD inside as well. And then I have an external 512 gig where I want to install. I'm going to click next and we're going to create our account. I'm gonna create my account and then I'm just gonna create a, a password for myself and then I'm gonna click next and then I'm gonna select my time zone from it's, gonna, it's New York and then I'm going it's gonna review ask you to review your choices we're just gonna see if we did it selected everything correctly I did I'm gonna click install this can take them to an hour so up to an hour depending on your USB drive, SSD, hard drive and all that and depending on your computer's speeds of the USB ports and on the computer in general so be patient with this. As you can see, it has finished installing and it says continue testing or restart now. We're going to be clicking restart now and then we're just going to wait for it to restart. And then you can just unplug the USB after the screen goes black. You remove installation medium. You can just put this wherever you want and then click enter. And then it's going to shut down. And you can enter your you have to enter your boot sequence again. If you have a primary boot device like my Windows Boot Manager, which is Windows on my main SSD, you're just gonna want. I'll have to switch because I set this thing to boot first, and I'm gonna click Ubuntu, and then then you can just click Ubuntu, and then you're just gonna wait for this to boot. So now that it has loaded into Ubuntu, I'm going to click on my stuff. I'm going to enter my super secret password and then wait for it to load into the operating system. Shouldn't take too long. And there you go. You successfully installed Ubuntu on your external SSD. You can enable Ubuntu Pro um, free for up to five machines like if you, you have to create an Ubuntu account, uh, I will be skipping as I don't really need this, but I have it on my other machine. You can either share your da system data with the team or not. You can just finish.
and there you go. You have fully functioning Ubuntu system running off of an external SSD or hard drive or USB. Thank you guys for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.